Hello and welcome to Queen's University Belfast. I am Philip McGowan and I am the faculty lead in the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences and the faculty lead for the M Liberal Arts programme. And I'm going to talk to you a bit about that, about why you should basically come and do it here in Queen's and some of the advantages of the programme. And I'll take you through the course structure and a few other bits and pieces while I'm with you. So yes, I'm Philip McGowan. You'll get my information and contact details at the end of this presentation. The M Liberal Arts degree at Queen's is now into its third year. There's a new flexible curriculum program that we designed to allow students the possibility of choosing multiple subjects to study across four years of a program that also includes work placement and study abroad. Queen's University Belfast is a member of the Russell Group uh, University of 24 research intensive universities in the UK and we're in the world's top 250 universities. Uh, so in the top 1% of universities in the world and we're one of the oldest universities in the world as well. Uh, Queen's has a very prestigious history but also a very, very promising present and future. Um, Belfast as a city um, is recommended for a number of things, not just culturally, but also cost of living is great and it's the cheapest UK city. Um, so if you're looking for something different from a degree, if you're looking for a city that is vibrant, a city that is young and a city that is making changes in the world, then Belfast is the place to come to. Queen's as an institution has been changing rapidly over the last few years and we've spent an awful lot of money on infrastructure as you can see from these revamped or new buildings that we have designed, either the law school in the top right there, the new Maclay Library in the bottom left of your screen, the new electronic engineering building with all the lovely fancy coloured glass that you can see at the top left uh, and also just in the bottom right there you can see the graduate school on the left which was renovated recently and is part of the liberal arts program in your fourth year you have access to the graduate school as an m liberal arts student and i'll explain a little bit more about how that's the case in a moment the degree itself the m liberal arts at queen's is a four-year undergraduate degree program we looked at a number of offerings across the uk in terms of liberal arts and a number of the institutions that at which you can do liberal arts offered in three years. But when we looked at what we wanted to do to allow a flexible degree to have multi and interdisciplinary teaching, to allow for international study abroad and to build in a placement, work placement opportunity, four years seemed to be the only way we could do this. So it's a four year program and you get to do all of those things that you see on your screen now. This is an overview slide of the M Liberal Arts Programme. Um, the main things that you should concentrate on here, I guess, are the Liberal Arts modules, which are in the light green on the left of the screen. You do one of those each year. So that's your core Liberal Arts module. And then around that, you choose your own selection of modules, whether that's a combination of interdisciplinary modules that are run in the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, uh, optional modules in whichever subjects that are of interest to you, as well as a central spine of pathway modules. Now these can be in a dedicated subject like politics or history or English or uh, film, or they could be thematic pathways and I'll talk a bit about those in a second as well. In your third year, you take a work placement in the first semester and after the first semester you go wherever you are interested in going to do study abroad. Queen's has hundreds, literally hundreds of study abroad partner institutions around the world. So we have a conversation with you in your second year about where you want to go, how that best suits your studies, and then we will walk you through the process of how to apply for study abroad. In the final year, you return and alongside doing the dissertation and the final liberal arts module, you choose modules from the postgraduate degree programs that run in Queen's. So the universe of the degree overall, sorry, is a combination of both undergraduate and postgraduate modules in the final year. There's a slight variation if you're going to come to us and do liberal arts with a language. 
And here you can see the overview of how it would work, whether you do it with French, Spanish, or Portuguese. And this follows exactly the same experience that a student would have coming to do a joint degree with a language at Queen's. All of the third year is spent studying abroad. So that both the placement and the study abroad happens in the third year. That's the only slight variation to the program with the language. One of the things that we really, really wanted to do with this degree was to keep it up to date, to keep the modules in the liberal arts core as contemporary and as relevant to students who are dealing with issues in the world right now. And obviously the biggest issue in the world right now is pandemics and coronavirus. So in the first year module, Understanding Now, which previously had looked at fake news and Trump and all of that post-truth situation in the world, now for the year 2020, 2021, we're gonna be looking at pandemics. And we have colleagues coming from psychiatry, from medicine, from archeology, span from history, from anthropology, from economics, from politics, from education, and from English language to talk to us about the implications of what the coronavirus currently uh, is having on our societies, but also what we can learn from past pandemics, such as the plague or Black Death or the Spanish flu from 1918. And one of the things this module will get students to think about is how do we come out of this? How will we be able to reshape our society and our education systems as we move through coronavirus and into hopefully a better normal. In the second year, the core liberal arts module is entitled Uses of the Past. Um, if you've been spending any time watching the news during the lockdown, you will have noticed that issues around Black Lives Matter, around race and anti-racism have come to the fore, certainly in the United States, after the murder of George Floyd. And this module looks at that kind of momentum that the Black Lives Matter movement has created to look at the wider scope of how colonialism and decolonizing a curriculum is possible within a university in the 21st century. So we look at questions of racist ideology. We look at how neutral the past is, how neutral history is. Who is it that constructs these ideas about the past? And how is the past used or abused in contemporary situations to explain or to justify certain issues within society. This is just a snapshot of some of the people who could teach you if you come here to Belfast. Um, and they're all very happy, and uh, as you can see. But they, you will be taught by international experts in whichever subject, whether it's anthropology with Don Bryan and Evropi there, uh, also Katie Hayward, who's an international expert on Brexit, Kieran Connell in history, Yasmin Brunger in law, and also Isabel Torres, who teaches Spanish. So, you know, we could have put on a lot of pictures of different people on this slide of different experts who will be teaching you. It really will depend on how you develop your own way through the liberal arts degree as to who or whom will be teaching you. So looking at the pathways that are available under each individual subject, you can do the M liberal arts in archeology span or with anthropology or with drama or each of these subjects listed on the screen. And they offer then a sort of the, the core central pathway within the program that you would take in those subjects, a specific subject. Around that, you can add different subjects. So you might have a core interest in, let's say English, but you want to do maybe a politics module or a philosophy module or a film module or a history module at different stages of the degree, and that's fine. You're allowed to do that. But your core degree pathway would be in English in that instance, and you would qualify and graduate with an M liberal arts and English degree. The other option though is that you could combine different subjects into a thematic pathway. So at Queen's, we have the possibility of looking at different modules in terms of economic or global or political or green economy sustainability, uh, global studies or Irish studies, more broadly defined, American studies, which is 
my area, looking at American history, politics, literature, the history of the Americas, more generally, looking at South and Central American culture and history. Also, in terms of decolonizing the curriculum, we have a set of modules that will look at how we can rethink the generally white basis of Western university education in the 21st century. The entry requirements on first note, these are quite high uh, in some ways, I guess. Um, we're thinking of attracting, we're wanting to attract students who are looking for something different from a degree. who are hoping to come through a university education and think I've got something extra to offer. M liberal arts students are high achievers who are ambitious for change in the world and who want to be the people who make that change in the world. So we've pegged this at three A's for A levels. So there is some flexibility there uh, if we are your firm first choice, obviously. And you can see the different qualifications for access students and for the leaving cert in the Irish Republic. But one of the things that we're most keen on emphasizing is that this degree is for students who want something a bit more than they might get from a standard three-year degree. This is four years, you've got work placement and international study abroad. So it's a little bit better, I think, than most degrees uh, at undergraduate level because it gives you this range of experience and also a qualification that is at, pitched at a higher level than just a BA degree. And this is the last slide with my contact details for you. So you have my email and direct line uh, on that screen. You can also follow us on Twitter if that's your thing. Um, there's regular enough updates when I find the minutes in the day to, to post things there. Um, but I'm hoping that this brief overview will give you a sense of the kinds of possibilities and opportunities that the liberal arts degree will be able to give you. So get in touch and I'll happily continue the conversation with you at any stage. Thank you.